Some people might think it's lazy, the fact that I'm vlogging three days early, solely because I'm already wearing makeup, but I think it's practical. So this is my last video before we go on hiatus for a couple weeks, and of course that means I want to make it a good one. But it is also Wordplay Wednesday, which is the day of the week I struggle with the most. The wordplay part, not so much the Wednesday part. Wednesdays are fine. But the technical side of writing has never been my strong suit, so I always struggle to come up with a topic for Wednesdays. So today, instead of teaching you guys about something I barely understand myself, I'm going to point out some websites and blogs and other fun areas where you can go to learn about these things and hopefully get better educated on them than I am. Obviously the first thing I'm going to recommend are all the other Wordplay Wednesday videos. My fellow word nerds have talked about everything from vocabulary to modifiers to hyperbole and pretty much everything in between and in terms that even I can understand. Eric has also done some great blogs on our personal blog that I will link to down below that go point for point in some of the more technical, tricky issues in the English language. And while I haven't found a channel that I love above all the others, typing pretty much any English language element into the YouTube search engine is going to find you some pretty fantastic results with bloggers who really take the time to explain things to you. In terms of books, there's a lot I can recommend as there are so many grammar books out there, but I find a lot of them to be really stuffy and hard to get through. I'm a big fan of the ones that go back to basics on topics and really start from the beginning. The only one I could find that I haven't packed is Homework for Grown Ups, which does have an English section, but I do find it a little bit wanting. The one I would have liked to show you is I used to know that English, which goes over some of the more useful topics in terms of grammar. And of course, if all else fails, you can always ask Google because there are so many websites out there to help you with any questions that pop up while you're writing. Finally, if you really want to brush up on your skills, the last thing I'm going to recommend are online courses. I know the school I went to had one specifically about grammar and punctuation, and there are so many other ones like that out there. They do generally cost money, but it's going to help to give you a better overall understanding of what it is you're doing when you're formatting a sentence and placing commas, which is something I always struggle with. So if that's something that's in the budget for you, I definitely recommend it. As for me, I will always be grateful for editors because I'm going to need the help no matter how much studying I do. So that's it for today, and I guess for me, for a couple of weeks, I will see you all on Sunday for our final live Word Nerds chat of Season 1, where, fittingly, we are talking about endings. So... Have a great night or day or whatever it is for you, and happy writing! And of course, if all else fails, you can always ask Google. Can always ask Google. School I went to offered one.